Now the, um, now the rules of engagement are such that uh, we're not keeping time, uh, but at the same time, if someone does uh, in a particularly aggressive way attack the viewpoint or indeed the person of another panelist, I can assure you that the attacked party will have an opportunity to respond. I've never known what that's like. I spent most of my time on the attack. But uh, for tonight's question, which is, has political leadership at City Hall failed the City of Toronto? And I think it's only right to give the first opportunity to answer this question to the two people that actually work at City Hall. That's our councillors, Gord Perks and Karen Stintz. Gord, you go first. What? 80 years old, and he got spudded. That asshole spud that paints his name all over the fucking city. You know, $500 fine, and the city tells us, you, the merchant, you, the shopkeeper, the landowner, have to pay to get it painted off. This old 75-year-old is up on a ladder next door, balancing with his broken hip and his arthritis, trying to save 300 bucks by painting it out. I mean it this way, but as you say, well, Karen and I, Karen and I, sorry, it's not about you and Karen. It's about a whole bunch of communities. And I'll come back and say, still, that goes a bit to the formality of structure. And let me come back, and, and uh, I'm, I'm the academic, so I can throw some stuff at you. I want to say one of the most effective forms of engagement that I've ever seen in budget making is called participatory budgeting. It's not from afar. Toronto Community Housing does that with millions of dollars of real money involving... ...say that small business has words or... Okay, George, George, called. chill. It's cool. Um, <laughs> this isn't a fight between small business and... and uh, folks who are, are politically and econ economically marginalized in the city of Toronto. I do look out, I do see, you know what guys, I'm going to tell you this, this is a really white crowd, and it's probably a, 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 you know, a pretty okay crowd financially. If we have this conversation in Parkdale, I'll tell you there'd be a few things that would be different. Um, it wouldn't be a mayor. We do need a mayor that demonstrates strong leadership, and um, you know, there are points in time when individual councillors try to drive certain agendas, one city being one of them, that um, we're not met <laughs> with the reception of the council floor that one might have expected. So no, I think that mayors do, pref they, they, we elect a mayor to, to set an agenda, to show political leadership, and um, you know, and as I say in this case, I think Rob Ford has in some cases demonstrated strong political leadership on certain areas. I think there's other areas of the city, which certainly we're hearing tonight, where we need to demonstrate more.